So here is uh, our VR environment demo too. We update, we've updated a couple things, and we've some changed some things around. But we still want to show you uh, a demo of what it's like in the uh, virtual environment reality of the of this grocery store. So if we were to here, I'll click play right here and run the program. Uh, it should uh, update onto my phone, I, and I should be able to view it on the VR system. So if I were to put this on right now and load it up as well as get it comfortable okay there we go now it's working uh, it's a little laggy sometimes so what you, sh what you should be able to do is move around uh, and be able to look at different products on uh, on, on the shelf so as you can see, this one's already open for us already. Uh, the each item will have a product um, KPI displayed, in which we can view the name of the product, the time period in which we want to view it, uh, the revenue, sales, buy price, sell price, the amount of waste, and the the amount of money we made. So pretty simple. So each each um, product has a bubble in front of it which will allow me to view the specific KPI of each individual product. That was the uh, original functionality of this VR world. Another functionality we have, although we have not uh, fully updated it yet, is we wanted to have a heat map over the aisles of to show which products were more popular to customers. So if I were to press another button, it would put an overlay of the heat map over the over the aisles as you can see here right now we don't have an actual the actual data or the, or a heat map so uh, as a placeholder I have a picture of my dog <coughs> uh, as you can see each aisle has each house has has multiple bubbles for each uh, in correspondence to each of the products and so this is but this is what we have updated from version 1 to version 2 is in the back room we've added a uh, data visualization center in which you'd be able to see updated graphs of uh, all the products uh, in the store of just everything of uh, just basically everything from the store obviously these graphs are not corresponding to the actual uh, data in the in the actual store these are just placeholder graphs and here we have um, as you can see is a uh, aerial view of the gr grocery store in each of these bar graphs represents the number of uh, revenue per aisle to show uh, which where customers usually buy their products from, which aisles customers usually buy their products from, and so we also have an, uh, a, uh, a selection table over here in which we can select products that will display the next top three other purchases people buy. Like let's say let's say a customer bought an Apple. What other what did what what were the other three products they also Bought. So if we were to select something like an, like a, uh, let's say a salad right here, uh, it will display the product here and also display a uh, bar graph to, uh, to show what other products people would buy. So let's say so if they bought salad, they also bought chicken, uh, salad dressing, and bread. And if they were to buy, if we were to tell those off, and let's say buy a, buy milk for example, they buy they would buy chocolate milk diapers and a teddy bear. Same with other things like chocolate, uh, chips, flowers, and wine. So that's that's what the stage we are at currently and we are thinking of different functionalities that we can add in or maybe uh, possibly add in a uh, uh, controller support because right now inputs require yeah the right now the requirements are that I have to it has to be plugged into my computer because the processing is done on my computer um, and we are now trying to transition from a computer to uh, to the mobile phone and with that we'll need a we'll need controller support so we're trying so we're developing that currently and we are also trying to update the, gr the actual graphs that are displayed so make them possibly make them uh, dynamic so they will actually respond to data input and make them actually relevant to the actual store but we don't have the data right now and 
we are not sure what type of information we want to display. So that's the stage we're at. Thank you very much.